Greetings from the World Health Organization. My name is Chandra Mauli, and I welcome you to this brief presentation. Now, if you settle down, um, I'm going to share the screen and share a short presentation. I'm going to make a brief presentation on the e-course on adolescent sexual and reproductive health that is going to be conducted by the Geneva Foundation for Medical Education and Research in conjunction with WHO, UNFPA, and FP 2020. As I said in the introduction, my name is Chandra Mauli, Chandra for short, and I lead the work on adolescent sexual and reproductive health in WHO's Department of Sexual and Reproductive Health and Research. The title of the course this year, 2020, is Lessons Learned and Experiences Gained in Improving the Sexual and Reproductive Health of Adolescents in the 25 years since the International Conference on Population and Development, the ICPD, and responding to the SRH needs of adolescents in the context of the COVID-19 crisis. The training course um, is being conducted by the Geneva Foundation for Medical Education and Research in conjunction with WHO, UNFPA, and FP 2020, as I said earlier. The course this year has four objectives. One, to review the progress made in adolescent sexual and reproductive health and rights, ASRHR, over the last 25 years. Two, to examine the priorities in ASRHR for the next 25 years, with a particular focus on the Sustainable Development Goals target. Uh, three, to learn about the impacts of coronavirus disease COVID-19 on adolescents and young people, and especially on their SRH. And lastly, to identify approaches to respond to the SRH needs of adolescents and young people during the COVID-19 crisis that are appropriate to different contexts. So four objectives. And the four modules are aligned to these objectives. Module one, will be posted by the Geneva Foundation on the 12th of October. Module two, on the 19th of October. Module three, the 26th of October. And module four, on the 2nd of November. And then on the 11th of November, after all the four modules have been completed, um, the Geneva Foundation will host um, all the participants, the course organizers and resource persons in a Zoom meeting. So what will each of the four modules contain? They'll contain one, two or three sets of PowerPoint slides with accompanying talking points. Two, a video recording of each presentation. Three, a video recording of an expert commentator, someone who briefly pulls together the threads, the different threads of each module. Four, two to three documents which are required reading. And five, one assignment for participants to carry out. A word now about teaching learning methods. So what is required of you as the course participant? Firstly, to connect with your mentors at the start of the course and to reach out to them when needed. I'll speak a little bit more about the mentors uh, in, in relation to the next slide. Second is to complete and submit the end of course evaluation. Third is to participate in the end of course Zoom meeting that I mentioned um, earlier. And for each module to study, to watch the presentations and read the, uh, the documents that we've um, uh, provided, to complete and submit the assignment by the required date, and to contribute to the e-forum. There'll be an e-forum hosted by the Geneva Foundation um, after each module so that you have a chance to learn and share. Now, these tasks will take you between three or four hours per module. So that's three or four hours of your time over a course of one week. And you can do a little time every day or spend some time uh, in the weekend. 
So this does not need to interfere with your work if you are working. So what will the course organizers do to support participants? A mentor will be assigned to you at the start of the course to serve as your tutor, as your guide, as your friend. Now, this mentor is from your region. So he or she has a good understanding of the situation in your region. Uh, two, your mentor will mark your assignment and provide you with feedback promptly. Three, you can reach out to your mentor by email whenever you want to, whenever you need to. The secretariat will conduct an e-forum, as I mentioned already, so that you can learn and share. And you can always con uh, contact the secretariat for uh, if you have comments and questions. A word now about um, an end of course certificate or certificates and awards. All participants who complete all four assignments by the required date will receive a certificate of completion. Signed off by, by the Geneva Foundation, WHO, UNFPA, NFP 2020. The top 10 participants will receive an additional certificate of commendation. They will also get a set of books for personal and professional development. Finally, this is the list of names, designations, and email addresses of the organizing team. Rekibati Dries and Fiona Poon of the Geneva Foundation, Marina Plessens and myself for WHO, Daniel Engel for UNFPA, and Emily Sullivan for FP2020. That brings me to the end of this presentation. I welcome you to this course. I am congratulate you for taking the initiative to register for this course, to join this course. And um, I wish you all uh, the very best as you undertake this course. I look forward to uh, following your progress uh, and um, speaking to you at the end of course uh, Zoom meeting. Um, I'm the coordinator of the course and um, it's my pleasure to bring together these different experts from around the world uh, into this um, uh, framework, this platform, uh, so that we can um, uh, contribute to learning and sharing and to moving the field of adolescent sexual and reproductive health and rights forward. Thank you very much and good day.